So today we take a look at everybody's favorite deck, and I mean favorite. It's an absolute fact, it's inarguable, everybody loves it. Uh, PFI, or Poor Fucking Infantry. Uh, Poor Fucking Infantry is a Witcher reference, but the card game is a little more PC in its delivery, so uh, the card is just titled Poor Infantry. But uh, the deck, as you probably know if you're used to playing Gwent, uh, if you're new to Gwent you might not know, but the deck is entirely uh, about trying to maximize your value from a card called Poor Infantry by making it larger and then replicating it a bunch of times. So uh, this is the version of the deck that I am running, but I run a few cards that are slightly different. Uh, specifically, I'm running Kira, Kira Metz. Uh, when she enters play, she gives essentially a Ken sign or Quen. Again, I never pronounced that correctly, but uh, she gives a shield to all the non-gold units on a row. So when played on the melee row, she will shield your infantry. Now this doesn't protect them from things like Igni or Scorch, uh, but it does protect them against spores. So if you're not familiar with the deck, uh, Port Infantry is a card that has a low power, but when you play it, it spawns an exact copy of itself. Uh, using uh, Mardrome to buff the poor infantry, you make it so that whenever you play that same infantry, either through a Zerect, or if you copy it uh, using the full test leader ability, uh, then you get big infantry. And the counterplay typically to this is your opponents also playing spores so that you buff it and then you know, they nerf it, and you buff it, and they nerf it, so they stay basically a 3-3, three, three and it kind of neuters the rest of the deck, because you're not really uh, strong in power. Um, so, if you lead off with an infantry, and then you land a Kira, which is generally the plan, uh, then when you play your, you know, your first mutagen, hopefully they have to either spend something else to pull off the shield, or they have to spend one of their spores to burn through the shield, which means you're not, you know, ahead in that scenario. And it's been working pretty well for me. Um, but we're going to go through the full deck list just so that you can kind of see. So uh, we're running Kira, obviously. Uh, we run Shani because uh, she's just really, really good uh, and pretty broken in this deck. Uh, once you do get buffed up poor infantry, she resurrects them. Um, so both copies, when they duplicate, become gold, so they are that much harder to remove. Uh, then we also have Bloody Baron, who, as you all know, is uh, pretty fantastic, and if you demote Bloody Baron with a uh, sergeant, then he is just abusive. Uh, and then the other gold card I've been running is Renew, uh, largely because if I can get the pair of Shani and Renew, a lot of times you can try to take round one and then you can shiny on round two which really uh, like ramps up the pressure on the opponent and if you don't just win round two outright they have to spend typically a lot of resources to uh, get there and then you can keep playing cards to force them you know down to hopefully zero or one card uh, and your one card would be renew and a renew on a shiny onto an infantry is usually enough to just lock in a round so uh, Renew is the fourth gold card that I have been running. Uh, for the silvers, uh, for the most part it's it's a pretty standard Northern Realm lot. Uh, we're running Prince Stennis for the uh, advantage along with Priscilla, uh, Neneke to again either get back our infantry or something else, uh, Thaler for the redraw, and then I'm also running King of Beggars because he always finds Priscilla so it's like a little bit of deck thinning and it fetches our you know, really good card draw. Uh, and then Decoy, because Decoy is fantastic. And if you, again, uh, buff up poor infantry, and then you decoy one and replay it, you then get uh, copies of it. It's just uh, another way to abuse that. You can decoy beggars, re-get things out. Priscilla is fantastic. Decoy is just great in general with this. Um, for the bronze units, we do run two poor infantry. Uh, for a while I was running three, but Really, you just need one to stick, so it's basically like one and then a second one as like an emergency if they manage to uh, completely hose your first one. Uh, running two typically means that you at least find one in your opening hand, 
uh, but three was feeling redundant. Uh, the three medics, because we want to increase our chances of uh, refinding our buffed infantry in the grave. One sergeant, uh, largely again for either demoting your own baron or other similar uh, shenanigans. Uh, we run three reaver hunters because these thin out your deck, and as we know in Gwent, deck thinning is very important. So if you can stick a reaver hunter and he sticks around, he pulls out a second one, he pulls out a third one so your deck is thin. Also, if you lead off with this pre-pour infantry, a lot of times this will eat up a removal, um, freeing up your infantry for more buffs. And uh, then we have First Light, because uh, the Rally effect is again a thinning effect, which is fantastic for us. And also for uh, Weather, weather uh, if you don't have Shiny triggering your infantry into gold, Weather can be a real problem for PFI. And then lastly, the Mardrome for uh, the Mutagen combo. So. Uh, this is the list that I run. Again, it's nothing groundbreaking. I think the big uh, differences between my list and most other lists are uh, just the inclusion of Kira to try to protect the front row a bit and ensure that we can get some mutagen landing, and then the uh, renew for either hitting, again, Baron or Shani after the fact. So uh, now that we've taken a look at what is in the deck, uh, let's go play some games. Alright, so here we go with our first Close game. ranks! Looks like we're set up against monsters, and it's probably uh, breedables, given the hero that we are against. Alright, so Baron is great. Uh, Stannis and Thaler are fine. Beggars can find. Alright, so uh, we don't need two medics here. We do want uh, Mardromes, right? I think we want to keep the first lights over the medics. One Reaver Hunter is also good. I'd really prefer like one more Mardrome just to be safe. We do have the Sergeant for Baron. I think we can afford to give up one first light. Alright, so that was not what we wanted to see was the third Reaver Hunter, but we do have Thaler to put one back, so... Well, second... Uh, Reaver Hunter, excuse me, I think I just said third out loud, but... Let's go! Let me go ahead and do that, and then we will probably Thaler next to shuffle that back in, and then start the poor, oh, no, 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 poor infantry train. And that's a problem, because he's going to wild hunt us. Ah, mean they've not forgotten me. That's nice. Shani's a uh, fantastic addition to our hand. Yeah. So, of course, we, we pushed him uh, back into the deck, and then the other one died. Can't take it anymore. All right. I'll go ahead and try to get that underway. At this point, we really are just uh, getting the mutagen on for next turn. Um, if he plays another card, then we will stun us and likely pass at that point. Since he is very clearly taking this round. Three or hundred doesn't mean that we could try to fetch the other one out next turn. It's kind of a tough call here. We're gonna take our chances. Now we would be really lucky if he plays another card. Which they did. Wow. Alright, so we are pretty high up in advantage at this point. Like there is no way we were taking that round. Uh, from him. I'm very surprised that he played an additional card, but hey, that is not our fault. Now, of the ones he could have kept, however, that one not in our best interests. Go ahead and 
Don't run his skates. Got it? Let's go with this. Getting Priscilla out is kind of helpful. The fact that he kept uh, Nithril is really, really annoying. Uh, let's go ahead and you Baron put the bloody fuck yeah. to get our good infantry. And then we have the sergeant for the You demote. can try to win them all, but you We're going to copy yet because we have another Mardrum to potentially do that for us. I have to expect weather here. Since you played the fog land. Don't recognize your old mates. Let's get this out of the way. Again, probably expecting weather, but we do have the clear skies to help with that. Close ranks! Let's go ahead and see if we can force the weather at this point. Oh, instead he hits it with a scorch. Well played by him. Not much we could really do about that. That was going to Stand happen. and fight! So we'll go ahead and demote our Baron so that we can potentially res it. There is said weather. if he uh, plays this last card or passes. Even if he passes, well, this is a lackluster card. The fact that we're, you know, up as high as we are is helpful. The downside, though, is that all three of these are quality cards for him to keep with his passive, so... It's not necessarily the best situation for us, but we do have the 11 power infantry that we can shiny. And then some medics to uh, also try to pull some. Uh, we're gonna Tiny we're vittles. gonna delay just Hungry because like a wolf we are you know ahead in cards in hand the way we are. I'd rather see what he has going on before we hard commit to any decisions here. You must sweat like a swine in that jacket. Yeah, I actually think we clear the weather because it gets rid of the foglets. We'll just go ahead and do that. So now he has one card. It's a swallow potion, so. Oh, I'm a medic. I we can feel free to play our Shani. On to our poor infantry. Hungry like a wolf, I am. And take the round. We don't even have to play our medic. Hooray, infantry. Let's, uh. Go ahead and play another game and uh, see what we can do with it. To arms! All, All right, so here we go with uh, game number Press two. Those boards, and we're against Skellige Herald. So if this is the Coral Control Herald, the uh, Cripple version, uh, it could end up being problematic because of the weather effects and uh, the combination with Ard as well. Uh, I think we only want one infantry, so we ship that back. Um, two Mardrums is great. The first light, I think we hold on to, again, because of potentially Coral. Uh, I think we keep this because if we lead off with this, we want that. But we would, in my opinion, like some Reaver Hunters. Um, Thaler is just a redraw anyway, so we'll ship that back and get it. And I think that's good. I don't want to risk, now that we don't have Thaler, uh, getting another Reaver Hunter, though. So I think we just keep the hand. You want to pass, you gotta pay. Can't let you through elseways. So he thins his deck with the Let's Pirate. Go. We play Reaver Hunter and attempt to thin I can help you if you wish. He thins further with Ermion. And can't take it anymore. Here we go with the infantry. So if he so lacerates, we have this. Well, he gives us uh, Birna fair. Reaver thins for us at least one card, which is good. 
we take our mutagen. See if he answers with a spores. No, he passes. How interesting. All right, he's already up one card. So this is a dilemma because while we have the round, right? We actually lose nothing by playing uh, the second mutagen now, other than the fact that we're playing a card to do so. Um, just because we want it on there eventually before we copy him anyway. Um, but if we do that, it passes and comes back, and then the, the other Reaver Hunter comes out, which thins our deck a little bit more. So even though we're ahead, we're going to take this line just because it passes, comes back, and re-thins our deck some more. So, because again, we're just going to end up resurrecting said poor infantry this next round. And... Had we kept the mutagen in hand, we would res it, then play it, then copy it. So, really all we lose is uh, a play in terms of, like, the order of play. Uh, now, you we Again. want to very much Dying get vittles. this in play like now. That is a uh, for sure thing. Hey, man! Copy feels important. The decoy is uh, potentially important. I think we decoy just to delay and see what he's got going on. We're probably... We're going to play Stennis this round for sure. And if we don't end up getting our Shani, we'll probably play Baron this round because we want a target for our renew next round. That isn't Birna Bran. Though I guess we could renew Birna and get some additional card draw. Uh... Pieces, well, priceless. Let's go ahead and do this. We already have the first light. Here I could could prove important. Alright. Let's go ahead and get our copy out of the way. Onward! Attack! So part of the reason that copying is important is not just the before burst Royal of power. Majesty. But also because when they die, uh, it means you have a higher chance of hitting them with your field medic. Which can be pretty important. Now, we're not protected against Igni or Scorch by doing this. We are protected against any other effects, like Herald the Cripple. Uh, so I think we actually go ahead and play this now. And then we actually just might pass, because while we are um, up a round like this, he only has six power right now, right? And now, we're up three cards. If he were to play, let's say, a Scorcher and Igni, these three die. So we're left with uh, 9, 18, 26, 30 to 6. So even with a Scorch, you would probably still have to play at least two cards to catch up. We would still have this in hand. Well, we do, again, we have to play our Baron, don't we? Um... We don't really have a good target for it. The other option, again, is Renew into uh, Birna. Which I actually think we're going to go ahead and do. You stand before the Queen of Skellige. Because taking Shani into the next round is a big deal. So, uh, kind of give him some power, but... Again, kind of helps our current advantage. Helps us find Shani. Not unlike some overseas plundering and spreading. And so I, again, I think that we now pass. We're up pretty significantly. Oh, so he plays the plays the Ard without the weather. Now we could play Coral. Here should make up a pretty uh, significant amount, but then we would be uh, even on cards. I oh, choosing to do the fog. All right, so it's gonna take the round, but we're now even on cards, uh, which is ultimately I think gonna favor us, just given 
given her hand at this point. The presence of shiny is kind of a big deal. As is uh, this to find Priscilla. So he's gonna chain Modern Freya watch us and keep us. To start. Modern Freya is patient, into a but she brooks no insult. Oh, he chose a seven instead of his eleven. Oh, he's got a more res effects then at that point. So, uh, let's have a lead off of the So we're gonna take one of our 11s for sure here, right? Right. Can't take it anymore. So I forgot that we discarded Priscilla with Birna. So we serve her, who is Virgin, Mother, and Crone. And yeah. Nothing like so he's either gonna find a medic or a horror and infantry. Which is interesting. Good news is, is this being here means these are now uh, protected from Scorch, but not from a Geralt Igni. The semblance of power don't interest me. Unfortunately. I think we hold on to First Light until the end, uh, just in case he plays Weather. Take it anymore. Let's see if we can draw out an Igni if he does have it. Really pumping those uh, bad boys up. Uh, Shani on our sure. guy be glad. is entirely fine because it's going to be gold Can't power locked in. Uh, they do still get hit by Harold, but there's no, uh, I suppose. no good way to deal with that. Alright, so there's the coral. We were expecting. I will go ahead and first light now, just in case he has. Uh, just in case he's running renew, right? Because uh, renew into Geralt there would like, Bow guarantee. Bow before modern Freya. Not the likes of overseas plundering and but. spring day. You've thought about this. I think we just keep the medic. Up and out of lazy mingers. You'll sleep when you're dead. So it takes a pretty big swing out of us, but we are. You must have the swine in that jacket. And we take the round. Could have just passed. I guess I, uh, for some reason, thought he had one more play, but... Hooray! There's a game! So, uh, as you can see, uh, you just abuse the infantry. Um, it's a pretty, uh, standard deck at the moment. You can expect to see a lot of it on ladder. Uh, this is just my take on it, but, uh, if you want to see more, let me know. Uh, chances are you don't want to see any more though because if you play Gwent at all you're probably sick of it so uh, I just wanted to make the video to kind of get it out of the way if you will because we were gonna have to do it eventually so uh, as always I will see you next time <laughs>